I've just logged into my Seesaw account as a student and I want to make some new content. To make some new content, I just click on the green plus sign up here. Click on this. And there are lots of tools that we can use. We can make a, take a picture, we can take a video, and we can make a drawing. But we can also take pictures inside the drawing uh, tool. So we're going to click on drawing to start with. And let's have a look around the space and see what we can look at here. Over here are some options that we can use. And we have got some options over here. This slider allows us to change our pen color. And can you see when, I, when we change our pen color, if we click on the pencil here, and we slide this around, you can see the change the color of the pen. So we're going to use this tool here. We're going to use the pencil tool and slide that. Can you see how the color changes? We're going to make green. And when I click on the pencil and I draw, it makes a thin line. When I click on the felt tip or the marker pen, let's change it to a different color, it draws with a slightly thicker line. So we can use the right tool to do the job. And then we can click on the marker, and that's a yellow color, and we can change that to any color we like. And when we use the marker, it's slightly see-through. So if we drew over something, we could see the something that's underneath. So it's good for highlighting tools. And then we've got the special pen here, which does a fancy outside to our marking. So if I draw a line all the way around here, you can see it looks like I'm drawing with a white line with a pink shadow around the outside of it. And then finally, we've got our eraser tool and we can use our eraser tool to rub things out if we want to rub things out. So those are the pen tools and how to use them. But now I'm going to show you how to use the pen tools and the camera tool. So let's just clear our drawing. Delete and start over. Yes. So now we're going to click on the drawing again. And this time we want to take a picture that we want to annotate. So we click on the camera. And we can either take a photo or upload a picture that we've already taken. So I'm going to click on the photo. And you can see here that we've got three places on the screen for us to take a picture with. So I'm going to take a picture with this button here. I'm going to press and you hold still. There we go. It's taken a picture for me now. Now, if we wanted to, we could probably take another picture. Let's see if we can do that. Let's take another picture. So I've moved that one. Do the same thing again, let's come back to here, click on picture, and just move my camera to take a picture, and I'm going to click on the icon here, picture icon, hold still, don't remember, remember to hold still, take the picture, there it is, and so now I've got two pictures in my, in my scene here. So now what I can do is I can make them bigger by clicking on the picture and clicking on the edges if I wanted to. So let's say I wanted this picture but not this one. I'm going to delete this picture. Click on delete and I want to make this picture bigger. So now when we've done this I've made my picture nice and big. We can now use our pen tools to talk about what's going on. So let's click on this pen tool here and I'm going to make this a nice orange color. And I want to draw on my picture. I could talk about this big picture of a bird here or I could talk about the clock or I could talk about, I could point to say this candle and then I could also make a label so now I could type in here, I've clicked on the T to make a label and I can now move 
my label to here. And when I'm happy with that, I'm happy with that, I can click on the tick sign, I can choose my name, and then I'm going to post it, ready for my teacher to say whether they are going to accept my work or not. So click the submit button, going to put it in my literacy folder, click tick, and there, it's waiting for my teacher to approve my work.